Hi, I'm Jack Algier, farm director here at Stone Barn Center, Food and Agriculture. I'm here with my friend Dan Bartouche, who is the greenhouse manager here with me on the farm. Yeah, this time of the year is really busy, so it's, uh, it's good to be able to catch up and talk about these things as they're happening so we can realize the moment that we're in. All of a sudden, it's done. Like, all the plants go out, and it's kind of like a big relief. Dan has a, a really intensive and organized and precise schedule that really begins in January. Yeah, we do a, a review of the previous season and we, we go over with um, the restaurant, with the CSA. Uh, December, January, we come up with that plan and then we start ordering the seeds and then, then we start planting the seeds and that's kind of where we're at right now. You know, really the question is, why do we propagate? You know, why, why not just wait till it's warm enough to plant these things? You know? What are some of the things we're thinking about, uh, you know, early on in the, in the season? I mean, I think a lot of it is control, you know, picking the strongest seedlings um, out of the bunch. All these benches here are on radiant heat, uh, really meant to warm the soil, not necessarily warming the atmosphere, but really to keep the soils at different temperatures to help germinate the seed faster and get the crop more even. To our left here, some sphagnum trays, which is sphagnum moss and sand. We get the sand on the property. And then we mix the sand and the sphagnum and add moisture. And it's, uh, that's where we start all of our, uh, all of our nightshades, uh, most of our flowers. If we have good warmth and a really nice, even balanced media like this, they all germinate beautifully. But now that they're up, they need to move because as soon as they start to show green, that's when they start to need to draw from soil and from organic material in the ground. And this is really the key of propagating plants, is that we have choice. One of the biggest, most valuable purposes, functions of plant propagation is that it's our choice and our sort of uh, guidance in this process to pick the ones we want. So little stages, even in here over time, we will start them on 70 degree soil, move them to 60 degree soil, move them to the main greenhouse, which really is you know, about 40 degrees to mm -hmm. 60 degrees. And then we'll move them outside and let them get these uh, 30 degree temperatures before they go into the ground. And then it's the, you know, it's Jason's problem. Now. Yeah, well, these are all your babies. You're taking <laughs> yeah. great care of them all. Yeah. And, and we're making plans with our customers, whether those are chefs or our CSA members or or even the markets that we are preparing ourselves and giving everybody that list very early in the season. Come on out and, and see this beautiful place before the season's over, before the spring is over, and uh, get to know these characters before you get to taste them. <laughs>